Hello, let's look at the color dynamics in the brush palette. Color dynamics determine how the color of paint changes over the course of the stroke. Foreground, background, jitter and control specify the, how paint varies between the foreground color and background color. To specify a percentage by which the color of the paint can vary, you can type a number or use the slider to enter a value. To specify how you want to control, you can uh, choose an option from the control pop-up menu. You can choose off and uh, that is gonna have no control. You can choose fade and fade is gonna vary the control of the paint between the foreground and background color in the specified number of steps. And uh, you can use also the stylus uh, by pen pressure, pen tilt or stylus wheel or rotation. You can also set only hue jitters and that is gonna specify a percentage by which the hue of the paint can vary in a stroke so you can type a number or use the slider a lower value is gonna change the hue while maintaining a close proximity to the hue of the foreground color and the higher value is gonna increase the difference between hues you can uh, also change the saturation jitter by specifying a percentage by which the saturation of the paint can vary in a stroke. You can type a number or use the slider to enter a value. A lower value changes the saturation while maintaining a close proximity to the saturation of the foreground color. A higher value is going to increase the difference between uh, saturation levels. You can also choose an option from the option for brightness and uh, that is going to specify a percentage by which the brightness of the paint can vary in a stroke. You can type a number or use the slider and a lower value is going to change the brightness while maintaining a close uh, proximity to the brightness of the foreground color and a higher value is going to increase the difference between the brightness levels. Purify increases or decreases the saturation of the color. You can type a number or use the slider to enter a percentage between minus 100 and 100. At minus 100, the color is going to be fully desaturated and at 100%, the color is going to be fully saturated.